What is going on guys? Drake here with WCCF Tech TV. Today we have some news for you guys about Intel. We're starting to get more news and leaks out about their upcoming KB Lake G series of processors. It's looking pretty interesting so far. Let's get right into the news. So to begin, the info we have today comes from Benchlife. This shows us a leaked roadmap from Intel themselves. This reveals that while these will still be a part of the 7th generation of Intel CPUs, it will feature a revolutionary new design. The new processors will be utilizing 14 nanometer process and will also have a dedicated PCI Express link to a separate discrete GPU with faster HBM2 memory. Intel also recently confirmed at their technology and manufacturing day that they will move toward a more robust and heterogeneous design. This new layout that leaked today will allow Intel to mix and match different CPU components and dies, interlinking them on one single chip. These upgrades, while very minor in terms of actual performance of these CPUs, will actually allow Intel to do a lot in the future. This will let Intel get rid of the cost and efficiency of a single monolithic design and have better efficiency and designs in the future. The new processors will feature a multi-die interconnected bridge, which will have high density and bandwidth, but will still maintain a low cost of small silicone bridges. Again, while all this is nitty gritty internal details, it will help Intel in the long run as it will help them maintain cost and efficiency thus bringing up the actual quality and performance of these CPUs. So there will be two chips that will be a part of the KB Lake G series that we know of right now. These will feature the ball grid array design that will be in a package size of 58.5 by 31 nanometers. Both of these models will feature four cores, confirming obviously that they are quad cores. The two SKUs have a TDP of 65 and 100 watts respectively. The reason that the TDP is so high will be due to HBM2 memory and a discrete GPU on a separate die. Speaking of this separate GPU, it will be connected to the main CPU die through a PCI Gen 3 interface and the HBM2 memory will be the main onboard VRAM. We're not sure yet if the GPU will be an Intel product or if AMD will allow Intel to use their graphics for their processors. We will keep you guys updated. So little is actually known right now about the real specs or performance increases of these new KB Lake G series processors. All we know is what internal nitty gritty details and changes there will be in terms of design of this CPU. When we get more specs and news, be sure to stay tuned to WCCF Tech TV as we'll be sure to update you guys with all of the news. That's going to wrap up this video guys, hopefully you did enjoy it. We just wanted to bring you guys news of Intel's upcoming KB Lake G series processors. Let us know down below, are you interested in these processors, do you care, do you think they will be paying attention to, let us know down below. Thank you for watching WCCF Tech TV, signing off, I'm Drake, peace.